Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be demonstrating this drawing of a still life of some apples in a basket. I am drawing this with colored pencils and blending with Gamsol Odorless Mineral Spirits, which is a solvent. I'm using several different brands of colored pencils, including Prismacolor, Polychromos, Caran d'Ache Luminance, Derwent Lightfast, and Derwent Drawing Pencils. And I am drawing this on Rising Museum Mount Board, which is a really interesting surface to draw on. It's maybe similar to a Bristol Vellum, but it's very thick and I just love working on it. It's one of my new favorite papers. This drawing took me somewhere around 20 hours to complete and I have condensed it here for you in about 15 minutes and I just wanted to walk through my process. The first thing that I do is block everything in with the colored pencils. I like to get that drawing to look like this needs to look like an apple before I'm ready to blend with the solvent and I like to get all of my shadows and highlights at least in the right place and then I can come through and dissolve the pigment and this all really starts to come together and gives kind of a painterly look. It gets rid of any of the graininess from the pencil and just creates this really nice smooth base. For me at this point in the drawing, this is not complete. I need to come back through now after the gamsaw has dried and add all of my details. And I do that with my colored pencils. And this part is a little bit easier because I already know where everything is supposed to go. I have that all blocked in in the first layers. And it's also a lot of fun to add those details. So here I'm moving on to the second apple in this piece. When you see me using those really light pencils, I was using a Polychromos Ivory and also white. And here I'm doing this with the medium flesh pencil. I am indenting that paper so I'm pressing really hard with those light pencils so that when I come back over those areas with the mid-tone and shadow colors, the pigment won't stick in those little areas that I have indented the paper and it makes it really easy for me to see where I want some of my details and where I want some of my highlights. That will start to show up a little bit more um, in some of the other apples. Here you can see me just layering in the shadows and now I'm coming through and blending this one with Gamsol. Kind of working around that highlight because I don't want to blend the black pencils up into it, but I also want to blend over it. I don't want it to be just a big white spot. I want to blend over it and make it look really natural. I used a lot of that Prismacolor black pencil and also a lot of the Polychromos black pencil. Another one of the main pencils I used in the shadows was the Derwent Lightfast Chestnut. And moving on to another apple here. You can see how important it is for me as well to get some of these directional lines in here just to give some shape to that apple. I want those curved lines so that this is going to look three-dimensional and not flat. And then I can just block in over with my mid-tone colors. I used a lot of the Caran d'Ache Luminance Crimson Abergine. That was one of the main colors of red that I had in here. More and more, as I've gotten some experience drawing, I've started using fewer colors. I've been more careful to try to 
narrow down my color palette before I get started drawing and that helps everything stay really nice and um, uniform in the drawing so it looks like all of these apples are part of the same bunch. So I'm matching the colors and working out what's going to look best on the drawing more than trying to match the reference image. I do a little bit of both, but I'm not quite as careful to match the reference image as I used to be. And speaking of the reference image, this one came from Pixabay. So if you are interested in drawing this yourself, you can go over there and find that. Working on getting those directional lines in there again. These apples were all at so many different angles, like this one is you're looking at it from the top. That made it really fun to draw this one and kept me interested, kept me from getting bored. Sometimes when you're drawing the same thing over and over, you can start to get a little bit bored, so it helped that at least they were on a different angle. And this particular apple had a lot of those directional lines. I had to make sure it looked like the stem was indented into the center there and that, you know, those lines are kind of coming out and away from that center. And that three-dimensional effect really helps with the realism. ended up using quite a few of the Derwent drawing pencils as well. The Derwent drawing pencils is a brand that is particularly soft and creamy. I think they're almost kind of crayon-like. They deposit a lot of pigment in a single layer and they're also very opaque. Um, I don't always use them a lot. I, I use a lot of the Derwent drawing white and black but as far as the other colors they have a lot more muted colors and because I'm drawing botanicals I tend to use a lot of bright colors so there aren't as many in that set that work for me typically but for this particular drawing it was a lot more muted and because it's a still life it had kind of that moody look and some of those darker um, muted colors worked really well here. Just adding a pop of color with that green and yellow can make a big difference. And then just really refining the details and sharpening up some of those directional lines. Just adding some, it's basically just dots and dashes in there just to create that look of there being a little bit of detail, sort of an impression of the detail. And here's my next apple again at another angle. I think this might actually be the last whole apple. It had it, it was an interesting one because it had a really bright highlight sort of on that left edge. and then it was surrounded by some pretty dark shadows. That pencil you see me using, the Light Fast, is the chestnut. I use Light Fast chestnut and also a little bit of the cherry red. That Polychroma's Red Violet was also another one of the pencils that I used quite a bit. Those Polychroma's pencils hold a point so they're really good for getting some nice details. I like to take advantage of all of the different characteristics from the pencils. The Polychromos and the Derwent drawing pencils are just really, they um, hold that nice sharp point, so they're really great for getting details. Whereas the Caran d'Ache Luminance and the Prismacolor and the Derwent drawing pencils tend to be a little bit softer and creamier and they'll deposit a lot of pigment on the paper. So having the combination and using 
those different characteristics of the pencils to their best advantage is what I like to do. There I'm adding some texture with the electric eraser and then working back over with some of the pencils to add more detail. This is part of a real-time excerpt that I did over on Patreon, drawing this cut apple. It's moving really fast here, but it, I draw it in real time over on Patreon. And now I'm moving on to the background. You might notice my lighting shifting quite a bit. I struggled with this one to be able to see my reference photo when I had my bright lights on, so I kept kind of going back and forth between turning the lights on and drawing and then being able to turning the lights off so that I could see my reference really well. This background alone took close to 10 hours and it was fairly tricky because I was fighting the urge to put too much detail into the background. I am a detail focused artist. I love to draw a lot of detail and copy my reference images to perfection when I can. And I had to sort of step back and force myself to step away from the detail a little bit and try to create the look of a more of a blurred background and I'm happy with the final result but it was definitely a struggle for me that is not my strong suit so there was a lot of back and forth between me adding some detail in and then going back over with the black pencils to try to blur that out some and I just sort of went back and forth like that until I was happy with it and still I think there's probably more detail in my drawing than there was in my reference image but that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect. I was using a lot of the Prismacolor French grays and the Prismacolor black in that table. It's kind of a wooden table. Using those Derwent drawing pencils to draw on top of the leaves was really helpful. You can't always successfully add light colors on top of dark colors when you're working with colored pencils and I think the combination of this paper this rising museum mount board with those Derwent drawing pencils I was able to do that pretty successfully on this one let's have another leaf here a lot of black in this one might seem kind of counterintuitive, but it works. I went over the black with a lot of green, so again, it's a really dark green. And here is the breakout video I did for this basket handle. I did that another real-time tutorial over on Patreon. I actually did four separate videos for this drawing on Patreon. I did part one of an overview where I was drawing the apples, part two of an overview where I was drawing this background. Those were about an hour and a half each. And then I did the two breakout videos, the apple, the cut apple, and then that uh, basket handle. And I think those were maybe a little under an hour. Blending that background out with the camsol, make it nice and dark and then adding these leaves up into this upper corner. This was another really tricky part for me where I really strayed from the reference image quite a bit. Just again, trying to get that balance between the detail work and it blending in with the background. So here is the final drawing. I hope you enjoyed that. Please feel free to leave me any questions or comments in the comment section here on YouTube and I will try to answer those. 
And if you would like to see the tutorial for these drawings, you can head on over to Patreon. And over on my website at jennifermorrisonart.com slash Patreon tutorial links, you can find links to all of my other available colored pencil drawing tutorials. There are over a hundred video lessons over there right now. I have special lessons just for beginning drawers and I have more advanced tutorials and tip videos as well. So head over there if you're interested. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye!